in this video we are going to charge the tesla up to 100 percent and do a real world range test but unlike this video where we calculated the real world range for the tesla model 3 at super low negative temperatures we'll find out how far the tesla can travel at optimal driving conditions so we're starting this video the same time we started our last video the tesla is almost done supercharging so it'll probably never say charging completed it only says calculating so here's a tip if you don't want to get like charged idle fees when you're at the supercharger what you can do is you can ramp it up to 100 percent to avoid any idle fees we're gonna drain the battery to zero percent and we're gonna see how many miles we do so trip a we're gonna reset this to zero and we're gonna start our journey so my projected range is 277 kilometers so we're gonna see how accurate this is when i head back after 10 minutes of driving at optimal conditions for the Tesla, you can see that there is already a big difference from winter. In the winter, my battery was down to 318 kilometers of range, where in the summer, I still had 352 kilometers of range left. Also, you can see that in the winter, my projected range was about 184 kilometers. But as you can see here in the summer, that projected range is almost double. So we're driving at the optimal temperature, it's 17 degrees, it's gonna go, go down to maybe 15, 14 degrees, which is perfect, that's the optimal temperature for the Tesla. So you can see that the energy usage is about 142 watt hour per kilometer, so this is giving us about a 319 kilometers of projected range. If the average is about 130 watt hour per kilometer, we'll get the projected range exactly what we see here. So I've been driving for 50 kilometers. The projected range is still what it was when I started the journey. I have 84% of battery life remaining. I've only used seven kilowatts of energy at 146 watt hour per kilometer. I realized if I keep on going, it would take me about three hours for this entire test. So I'm gonna take these values again when I reach 100 kilometers and I'm gonna do an average. So that should give us a proper estimated range of what you can expect in the summer at optimal driving conditions. So we are back at the starting point. We are back at the Tesla superchargers. I've done 100 kilometers of driving, used only 14 kilowatts of energy at a rate of 143 watt hour per kilometer. The values here, the projected range is still the same. I got 69% of battery life remaining. If I change this to distance, it shows about 254 kilometers of range. So you guys can see that when this figure is close to 130 watt hour per kilometer, this range projected range here and this is very close so this is probably what i would be getting i'm probably getting very close to what the range is displayed here at optimal conditions it's only 17 degrees celsius so 15 to 20 degrees celsius is the best conditions to uh, get the most out of your tesla and you'd get the epa range estimate that you see on the tesla website after sitting down with all the energy numbers that i've gotten on this trip and doing the math if I continue driving at optimal driving conditions, my Tesla Model 3 could have easily done anywhere from 315 to 330 kilometers. This is almost 140 kilometers more than what I got in the winter. Also, keep in mind that my Tesla has lost about 30 kilometers of range in degradation due to 18 months of driving. The battery range of my Tesla when I got it 18 months ago was about 402 kilometers. Comparatively, the newer Teslas come with 424 kilometers of range. So if you were to get the Tesla Model 3 Standard Range Plus today, you'd get close to about 400 kilometers of estimated range at optimal temperatures. And in the winter, probably around 250 kilometers of range. If you guys want to watch the video I've been referring to this entire video, click the link above. It's very similar to this video except the temperature goes as low as minus 33 degrees Celsius. And I actually ran the Tesla to 0% battery life to see how far I could push the Tesla in super low negative temperatures. At the end of that video, you'll see me panic as I almost got stranded in the Tesla. Unlike summer where you could use the entire battery of the Tesla from 0 to 100%, in the winter, the Tesla takes away and reserves a small chunk of battery life. This is because the battery of the Tesla gets really, really cold at minus 33 degrees Celsius and the Tesla needs a chunk of battery life to keep its major instruments warm. Thankfully, you won't have to worry about this in the summer and just be a little bit cautious in the winter. 
Also, as the battery is already warm in the summer, the Tesla does not need to precondition the battery at optimal temperatures. So when you get to the supercharger, the Tesla will immediately start charging the Tesla up at full speed. Comparatively, in the winter where you have to wait a couple of minutes before the supercharger starts charging your car. This is because the Tesla supercharger needs to activate the battery heater in the Tesla, heat up the battery, and then start charging the Tesla. In the summer, the Tesla supercharger is going to charge your Tesla up from 0 to 80% in about 20 to 25 minutes. But in the winter, this might take you anywhere from 30 to 40 minutes depending on how cold your Tesla battery is. That's all I had for today's video. As always, if you liked the video and learned something new, smash the like button, it'll really mean a lot. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and hit the bell notification button to get notified when I upload a new video. Also, if you have any questions, please put them down in the comment section or for an instant response, you can DM me on my Instagram as teslapeg. Now before I go, I just wanted to let you guys know that if you were planning of buying a Tesla Model 3, now is the time. Even if you had plans to buy a Tesla Model 3 in January, this is the time when you pre-order it. The 2021 Tesla Model 3 inventory is fully sold out. Tesla is taking pre-orders for 2022 Tesla Model 3 as when you go to the Tesla website and put down your deposit for a Tesla Model 3, the delivery date is in January. And don't forget to get your bonus of free supercharging when you use my Tesla referral code. And if you have already ordered a Tesla, you can forward my Tesla referral code to your Tesla sales advisor and they'll add the free supercharging into your account. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the day. Goodbye.